Hey everyone, Plant Assassin here, and today we are going to be looking at the black goji, or the Russian wolfberry. So this uh, plant is native to Asia, and it is uh, more of a desert plant. <clears throat> if looking at it, you can tell that it is a uh, lyceum plant. It looks very similar to the other species. It's, uh, its characteristics that set it apart visually is the fact that the berries on it are black instead of red like most people are familiar with. Now this particular plant is actually what got me started doing these videos because one day I was doing research trying to find out some more about the these particular um, plants and one thing that I saw posted over and over and over again on websites is that the berries are used to make some sort of ointment to cure blindness in camels now that could be true and I have no clue if it's true or not Goji berries have a reputation for having something in them that helps with eyesight in humans, so it would make sense that it would also help other mammals. But how many people have camels that they have tested this on? I'm guessing not that many people that are running websites in the United States and Europe have a herd of camels where they're testing whether or not this black goji actually has any medicinal values for them. And this is one of my frustrations with the internet is that people will build websites and make videos where they either not researched out their material very well or they're just copying and pasting from other websites. So it's it's a huge frustration of mine like i understand that you know not everybody can be knowledgeable on everything but sometimes just repeating information without actually uh testing it that's you know you, sh you got to be careful about giving uh, bad information and now whenever i'm reading a website about black goji berries as soon as i see the fact that oh yeah they can be used for curing blindness in camels it's like okay i just check out because it's uh it's just repeated so often that who knows now this particular plant we have here is actually in the process of flowering and fruiting so as soon as i apologize the wind's blowing a little but you can see that these flowers are fairly small. You would recognize this as a nightshade as soon as you saw it. But it has these really petite purple and white flowers. And there's a species of small bee in, uh, that we have in this area that'll come around and it seems to really like these flowers. Another one over here. And also, I don't know how well this will show up. Huh? There we go. We also have some berries forming. So this plant is two years old. I started it from seed last year. I've uh, had it growing in this pot because these um, plants are very unruly. They um, just spread everywhere and I half the time I have no clue what they're doing I have to prune them up a lot because they just spread out they're also much more let's see if I can get yeah here we go this is good they have a lot more spines than the uh, cultivated varieties I have so 
this plant is not domesticated or semi-domesticated by any uh, sense of the word and <clears throat> you know even our native goji berries here like the pale goji berry and I have a few other ones um, those were actually semi-cultivated and possibly domesticated by Native Americans so even the wild ones that we have their habit their growth habit is much more conducive to cultivation with these uh, black gojis they are a different critter and one of the reasons I just haven't planted them yet out in in the ground is because I don't know what they're gonna do and uh, it's uh, I, I need a open area for them so so they survived down to zero degrees last year and they also survive 112 degree Fahrenheit um, summers they I think they require even less water than the than the other species that I have definitely less water than Barbarum but um, you know they don't drop their leaves at, as soon as the other ones do so look, look at that earwigs like them too so we get an earwig growing along there but <coughs> I have not had any berries off of it yet. This is my first uh, potential harvest. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated and hopefully I can get some berries off of it. So if you found this video useful or interesting, please like and subscribe. This is the plant assassin showing you the black goji berry. Thank you.